The way it works is you apply the glue onto one side and then the activator onto the other. Hey guys, Brad here, and today's video is going to be about some glue. Now before we get into it, make sure you subscribe, hit that notify bell, and give me a thumbs up if you do like the video, because it definitely helps us out. This glue is something that every carpenter should have in their toolkit. And I'm talking about 2P10. All right, this product is a game changer if you are in the finishing carpentry, you know, trade. This stuff, if you're not familiar with it, it's a two-part glue. So this is your glue and this is your activator. And basically, the way it works is you apply this to one side and the activator to the other. You press them together and voila, it's going to stick forever. So I use this for a bunch of different things. I don't use this all the time because it is an expensive product, but if you're doing trim work and you need something to, to stick right away and you don't want to do setup, you don't want to tape, you don't want to clamp, this stuff is really, really good. You only have to clamp for 10 seconds and that really is just a matter of you holding two pieces together. You don't even have to clamp it. Okay, so we're going to do a little demo. I'm going to glue these together and uh, I always keep two bottles of activator just because, wow, this one's almost empty. And so this is my, my new one. Now, they do give you some tips. There's a whole bunch of different products out there. I happen to have the gel, the medium, and the thick. There's also a thin, which I really, really like. I'm out of. And... Uh, and then there's these tips, and then you've got your activator here. And it comes with a little nozzle, little straw that I just put on like that. Keep tape to the can so I don't lose it. If you're wondering, I do keep all my stuff, this is my glue caddy, in this Milwaukee packout bag. I've you know, been struggling, what, what do I carry my glues around with? And this thing has just really worked out. So I'm, I'm also keeping you know, tight bond in here some sanding sponges, some, uh, you know, wood filler, all that kind of stuff. Different glue bottles. This little guy, these are really cool. Well, that's another video. All right, so for this video, um, I think we're gonna use the medium. Now, I'll show you the viscosity of these just so you're sort of understanding what I'm talking about. So that's the gel, right? stands up pretty high you want to use that if you've got maybe a little bit of a void let's say this is a concave cut the gel will really kind of bond and fill that that space then we've got what do i want i want to do the thick next okay so that's the thick it starts to lay down a little flatter then the gel, and then the medium. A little bit more runny. See how it kind of spreads out? So depending on your product, like MDF, I would use the medium or the gel. I wouldn't use necessarily the thin on MDF. I find with MDF, it really sucks in the glue and sometimes it just doesn't want to stick properly. And, uh, you know, the thick is really good for, and the gel is really good for particle board. So really know your product, know the glue, practice a little bit before you get into, you know, your, your actual product and, uh, all will be good. So let's do, let's do the thick actually. Just don't want it to run too much. So the way it works is you apply the glue onto one side and then the activator onto the other and then you hold it for 10 seconds. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a line down the middle. And the activator here, okay, you just do a spray like that. All right, so then you kinda wanna get ready, line it up, And you only got 10 seconds. You just hold it. 
Now, when I'm gluing and using this product, a lot of the times I'll incorporate my wood glue with it as well because I might have a really massive uh, wood surface. And to use this product, you know, all over, it just doesn't make sense. It's too expensive and sometimes you need just a little bit of working time. So I often use the tight bond to, you know, go around my 2P10. And that way the 2P10 is just there to do my initial tack, get everything kind of set so I don't have to tape, I don't have to clamp. And then my actual wood glue is what I'm using to bond the product together. For something like this, for casing, you know, 2P10 is fine. You know, we don't have to do anything. So as you can see, hopefully this worked. Yeah, there we go. So it's on there pretty good. I'm just going to give it a few more seconds and then I'm going to try and reef on it and see if I can break this. These tips, these micro tips, they're really handy if you're into really, really tiny, fine woodwork. And they, this one I wrecked. So let's see if I still have it. I've got a tip here and they just push on like that. Okay. And then you can squeeze it out just like that. So you can get in, you know, really tiny areas and kind of do what you need to do as far as gluing. So very, very handy. So let's try and take this apart. All right. I'm going to, ah, there we go. So I had to put a fair bit of force on that. And I will note this is Batu wood, very, very hard, um, solid wood. It's not very porous at all. So the glue isn't really sucking into this wood. If I use an MDF, it probably would have even been harder to pull apart. If I had left this longer, I'd be smacking it against the table to break this joint. So it's really, really cool stuff. I can glue up another one here just to show you. Some guys I've watched where they, uh, they put the, ac the glue on the product like this. Okay. And then they'll put activator on their wood and on the glue. I don't normally do that. And then they hold it down and there, some guys are saying that works better. I don't really do that very often, but let's, let's give it a try. I'm just applying some pressure here just to see if we can get this to, to stick. All right, let's see if I can get this off. That's, that's what, 10, 20 seconds. Yeah. See, it just came right off. So I don't know if it's the wood or whatever. I've seen other videos where the guys are putting the activator on both sides and they say it works better. I'm on the fence with that. I think I'll have to play with it a little bit more, but for me, I'm always putting activator on one side, glue on the other, and you know, it, it's, you saw it just glues it right away in 10 seconds. You're solid. All right, guys, I wanna hear what you think about 2P10. Do you use it? It's been around a long time. This is not a new product at all. It's just something for you guys that, you know, if you're not familiar with it, get it because it's a game changer. All right. So yeah, leave some comments, subscribe, hit that notify bell, give me a thumbs up till next time. Keep on crushing it. Catch you later.